pretty scared. I'm about to go interview Chef to play. He should be easy, <laughs> right? Chef to play to the rescue. Hello, I am Chef to play, and I am your host. Yeah, I'm your host today. Hey, hey, why are you doing this? Hey, I'm the host. So I'm Chef to play, and where are the notes I read? Over here. Okay. The notes. <laughs> oh, okay. The notes are written on this piece of paper. Paper! <laughs> I have that accent because I used to be a French ballet teacher till they found out I was Italian. That's right. So, that's not the right paper. Paper. <laughs> uh, I crack myself up. <laughs> well, paper. <laughs> Oh, I, so nice. Okay, the first question on this paper today is, what? Did, how did your pet goldfish die? How did you know I had the pet goldfish? But that's all right. <laughs> oh crumbs! I, I, blow me down with a feather. I hurt my knee. <clears throat> yeah, I'm all right though. I'll just have to cook up some special medicine in the fridge. So, didn't I, I, my first, my first goldfish died when I was going to make a fish flat for McDonald's. I, I know there's not a T on the end. Shut up, sit down. <laughs> I don't like that guy. Sit down. Don't bug me. Don't bug me. Stop. <laughs> so, yes, um, I was making a fish flat for McDonald's and I always brought my fish to work. I was like, a hey, little fishy fisher. <laughs> Fishy Fisher, get the joke? <laughs> oh, crumbs, you guys. Th those are my co-stars. <laughs> I'm not the star of the show, but you're interviewing me, so I must be some sort of star. Okay. And, oh, yeah, I always brought my fish to work. And, stop making those jokes. He just did a really good joke. <laughs> good one, Sal. So, uh, that's besides the point. So, well, I put my fish to work, and then all of a sudden, <laughs> stop telling those jokes. He's telling jokes really quietly in the corner, and I saw my other co-star's face light up, and I was like, because ah! it must be funny if my co-star is laughing. My co-star is not a funny guy at all. He's like, I'm so serious. Ah! I used to be serious until they found out I was Russian. That's right. So, then all of a sudden... I saw my goldfish in the pool, and I wasn't paying attention. I tell you not. I swear, I, I was not paying attention. Oh, crumbs. <laughs> I, I might as well tell the truth. I knew it was my goldfish when I put it in the fryer. I was sick of it. My goldfish, it always bit me when I tried to feed it its grains. And I, it was like, I can't put up with this anymore. You're going in the fryer. And when I was going to put it in the fryer, it bit me. I was like, Can you, you, you stop that, you little goldfishy fisher and then oh, I stepped on it I stepped on it with all of my might I was like that, that's my dance moves so what's next how did I become a world renowned ballet artist well I became a world renowned ballet artist back when I was in elementary school yes those were the days I was soaring through the air high on my my steamroller. <laughs> they had steamrollers in England back then, and so I was in. I lived in England until they found out I was French. That's right. So, um, they had a steamroller, and I was like, oh, "That's a steamroller." <laughs> and I was like, "Look how gracefully the steamroller puts steam on the ground." And I was like. I really wish I could be that graceful. So I put practice after practice into my time. After every day after school, I went up to my bedroom and I did practice for ballet. Ballet? Oh, yes, ballet. I was like, I, I was so graceful on my feet. I was like a smooth little groover through the desert at night. I was so graceful. I jumped, I landed, I pitter-pattered across the floor. I made everybody adore me. They were like, 
Oh my gosh, Chef to play, Chef to play, Chef to play. Oh yes. And yes, I was so graceful. I got brought back on uh, Britain's Got Talent. I was on Britain's Got Talent until 1933 when they kicked me off because I accidentally landed on a little kid. Okay. And yes, Simon Cole, Cole, Cole. He, he was like, I'm so upset, and I was like. Well, skip me daft because get out of my face. And he was like, go out on the Barbie. And I was like, I'm out on the Barbie because I'm actually Australian until they found out I was Swedish. So I was out on the Barbie when I was Australian and I was so cool. But that's besides the point. So next question. Did I answer that question fully? So next question is how I got my name Chef Tuplet actually spelled with a two. Well, my, my dad was Chef One Play, and, well, my grandma, she named him, and she loved, she, let me tell you, she loved numbers. She was like, one, two, three, you and me, A, B, C, baby's tree. I was like, grandma, can you teach me that song? And she was like, yes. And then once she was teaching me, she got into strict detail about how I became known as Chef Two Play. And well, let me just say, so she, she just loved numbers so much. She was like, I want this kid. It's my first kid. I'm going to name it Chef One Play because she knew she loved cooking too. Well, actually she didn't until she accidentally cut her finger off on a cutting board. Then she loved cooking because she said, I always wanted this action in my life. And finally I got action in my life. And I was like, yes, you do, ma'am. You do, ma'am. And she was like, I know, I know. And then I was like, how did I become known as Chef Two Play? And she was like, well, your dad, he wanted somebody just like him, like him at all costs. So she was like, he's going to name you Chef Two Play, because one play, one, two, oh. And my wife is three months pregnant, and she's going to name our kid chef three play i'm just joking i don't have a wife i don't believe in that sort of ceremonial stuff and well let me just say i'm not gonna let a chef three play come and ruin my life if anybody out there knows a chef three play take him out for me i don't respect any chef three plays if you're a third you're awful Ugh, disgusting get away get away oh, oh you're a three you're a three Oh, sorry. Oh, you, your name's Lucy the Third. Oh, crap. Sorry, I, I love the thirds. I'm gonna have a kid just like you. I'm gonna name him Chef Three Play. Yes, that's right. Martin Luther King the Third, though. I don't really like that guy. <laughs> but, but that's alright, because you got to like the people you like and dislike the people you don't like. Last question. What made me become a world renowned chef? Well, when I was very young, I was like, I've got to start cooking. So, oh, let me just tell you, this is very funny. I was like, let's make cat soup, mommy. And she was like, hey, we're not making cat soup. And I was like, we're going to make cat soup. And she was like, no, we're not going to make cat soup. And I was like, make cat soup. And she was like, I'm not making cat soup. And I was like, make some cat soup right now. And she's like, no. And I was like, okay, I'll make it myself. So I went to the grocery market and bought myself a pet cat. And I put it in the roaster and I turned it on high and <laughs> the cat burnt to a crisp. <laughs> the cat burnt. It's like, <laughs> I was like, burn baby burn. It was like, <laughs> I was so, I was in shock. It was so fun to cook. I was like, if cooking can be like this every day, then I'm going to cook every day of my life. And yeah, I cooked it. So now, before I leave, I want to do some ballet lessons around the room. Can I? You better let me because I just wasted my time to be on your show. Let me do it now. <laughs> That was a very interesting performance by Chef Tuplay. Let's give him a round of applause.
Thank you, Shift Two Play. So, guys, that's the end of this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. So, so be sure to drop a like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. 131 subscribers. Let's get up. Come on, guys. 140, 50, 200. We're on our way, guys. See you guys next time. Bye.